If you're looking for a way to turn your PDF, Keynote or PowerPoint project into a professional looking video presentation, you came to the right place. Hey everyone, my name is Tim from Veed and in this video I'm going to give you a complete package how you can easily set up, record and edit your video presentation in a matter of minutes. First, what makes a good video presentation? Well, generally it needs a clear message, it needs to be easy to follow, engaging and preferably appealing to look at. In this video, we're going to make sure that we're going to hit these check marks as we create the video presentation. So let's get straight in. For making the video presentation, use a software by choice. But for my creations, I'd like to use Veet's online video presentation maker. The reason is because it provides a webcam and slide recorder in which I can completely customize my video presentation. And on top of that, it comes with a full fledged video editor with a bunch of AI tools. So basically everything we need to quickly and easily make a video presentation. It comes with a free version and you can click on the link below if you want to give it a try. So for the setup, let's start off by selecting a recording format. There's no wrongdoing here. You can do webcam and slides or only do slides and record audio. Either way is fine, but if you can, I suggest to use a webcam. The reason is it makes your video presentation just a little bit more personal and engaging for the viewer. Now, before we dive into specifics, let's first bring our slides into the video presentation. With Veed, you can easily upload it from your desktop. In this case, I'm going to choose a PowerPoint project. But just so you know, this recorder supports keynotes, PDFs and Google Sheets as well. After a moment, the slides are imported and you can easily maneuver through them by using the arrows on your keyboard or by separately selecting the slides with your mouse in the sidebar menu. As I mentioned before, it's helpful to keep your presentation clear and easy to follow. Most people have the attention span of a fly, so I recommend not presenting them with endless paragraphs or information without any type of structure or breathing room. Instead, try to make it dissectable. What I recommend is using short and sweet chapters, just like I've done in this project, so you give people time to successfully process the information you're trying to share. And not only that, but it also makes it easier for you to record a video presentation, which we're going to get to in a second. Additionally, and I highly recommend this, adding a few graphs, quotes or images into your slides like I did in this one could heavily contribute making it more engaging and visually appealing. All right, so now let's zoom out a little bit and focus on the overall layout. In general, for a horizontal or 16 by 9 video, which is the most used format for a video presentation, I recommend keeping your slides big as this will be the focus point of your presentation. If you're going to use your webcam, I recommend downsizing it a little bit and putting it in one of the corners or sides. Again, it depends on the aspect ratio, but no matter what you choose, I recommend prioritizing the slide's visibility at all times. In Veach Recorder, you can easily experiment with this. You can resize and reposition the webcam and slides in the video canvas, as well as changing the layout of your presentation through the bottom menu. Plus, make your video presentation even more visually appealing by choosing a colorful and captivating background. This could be helpful if you want to make your presentation more vibrant, or if you want to include the colors of your brand identity. As for the layout, it's also good to keep in mind that you leave space for any subtitles, logos or call to actions if you would like to include those later. Fortunately, in Veet's editor, you don't have to worry about it too much because even after recording in the video editor later on, you can still move and change all the layers in any way you wish. So let's dive into the recording bit. Before I say anything, I recommend you prepare yourself with some sort of script or with bullet points so you know what you're going to say and you can make sure you don't leave any information behind. You can do it with a sheet on the side but in Veed's recorder, there's a very helpful teleprompter you could use in which you can type or paste your text in, so you always have your lines at hand as you record your presentation. As I said earlier, I recommend dissecting your information in bite-sized chapters and sub-chapters. This way you can keep it focused, clear, easy to follow and also easy to record. You can record everything in one go, but you can also choose to record each or multiple slides as one scene as you record them separately. Either way, you can easily edit the mistakes out during the editing process, which we'll get to in a bit. First, let me show you how to record. So make sure you check if your microphone is working, your webcam is working, your face is well framed and well lit. And of course, check if you're happy and ready to present. Maybe you need to up your energy levels a little bit and do some jumping jacks, sip some water, call someone, just anything you need in order to get into your element. So when you're ready, you simply click on the recording button and basically go over everything you want to cover. During the recording, it's good to keep in mind that haste makes waste. No need to Usain Bolt sprint your way through the words because people won't be able to understand it. Instead, just try to stay calm, talk clearly into your microphone and take your time to deliver your lines. Hey everyone, welcome to my video presentation about InnoVibes. Thank you so much for tuning in. And this is very important, but if you make a mistake during the presentation, you might mess up a line or something, don't hesitate to come back or to go back to the beginning of your sentence. Hey, have, okay. 
Hey everyone, welcome to my video presentation about InnoVibes. I say this because this is going to be very helpful during the editing process and you're going to remove mistakes from your recording and stitch clips together with coherent sentences. It saves a lot of time and it just creates a better flow overall. All right, so during the recording within Veed, if you need to take a breather for some reason, you can click on the pause button and resume later. However, if you're done with your recording and you want to render it, you can click on the stop button and instantly be able to watch it back after it's rendered. As I said, if you prefer to record your video presentation in scenes or separate shots, within Veed, on the right, you can start recording as many scenes as you like, as they will all be nicely stacked under each other and completely editable. All right, so we recorded our video presentation. Now it's time to tie everything together and add a few nice extras that will take our video presentation to the next level. As I said, Veed has a built-in video editor in which we can easily make this happen and edit our video presentation on the spot. The interface is very user-friendly, even for beginners, and as I said, you can still separately resize and reposition all the layers in the video canvas. What I'm gonna say is pretty universal throughout all editing software, but in the bottom timeline menu, you'll be able to make cuts to your recording. In this case, you can use the split, cut and trimming options to remove parts you don't want to keep in your recording, while you assemble and stitch the ones together you would like to keep for your video presentation. The thing is, the more mistakes or the longer the presentation, the longer this usually takes to edit. It's not the end of the world, but that's why I like V so much, because it has an auto trim option called Magic Cut. It's helping me remove all the filler words, double takes and mistakes of my video presentation in just a click of a button. It also chooses and assembles all the best clips of my video presentation, which I can further edit in the timeline if I want. This could be helpful for you as well, it just saves you loads of time so you can focus on the fun stuff. Because from here, after it's all trimmed and we got the skeleton of our video presentation, you can add anything you like. However, I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks that you can do to enhance the quality of your video presentation. For example, it's very handy to add subtitles so it becomes more accessible and visually engaging for your viewers. If you use Veed, you can do this automatically with an AI-powered subtitle generator. You can edit, reposition, design, and even animate your subtitles in any way you prefer. As I said, I left the space below the slides for this, but feel free to do it in any way you wish, as long as it's visible and it doesn't overlap essential information on the screen. Also, consider adding text. Adding titles, call to actions, social media plugs, or other text-based elements helps providing context as well as encouraging viewers to engage. What you can do in Veed is selecting one of the many provided stickers, icons, or brand logos. It's just a nice extra visual touch you can add to your message. I know a lot of people create video presentations for their business, so as far as brand awareness, I also recommend adding your logo to your video presentation. When you upload it into the editor, I recommend placing it subtly in one of the corners so people can see it, but it's not in the way. This is also what I recommend, but in Veed you can change the opacity and even animate them so you can make them look subtle and more professional. Now, this probably won't be the last video presentation you're gonna make, and if you're gonna use Veed, you can consider using the brand kit. So with every future presentation you're gonna create, you can instantly pull up all your logos and company assets right from the get-go. This also counts for saving your brand color palette for all your text and shapes, as well as uploading and saving your company text font. And that's it. So now we really took our video presentation to the next level with just a few simple tweaks, just know if you consider using Veed for your video presentation, the editor comes with many more amazing features you can try out, such as the eye contact correction tool, which makes it look like you're staring straight into the lens even though you're reading your script on the side or looking away, and also a video background remover tool so you can remove the background of your cutout, and even a built-in stock library so you can add some nice videos or music to your presentation. You can do all of this and more before easily exporting, downloading and sharing your video presentation for your viewers to see. Either way, I hope this video was helpful to create your video presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. For now, thank you so much for watching. Good luck and see you next time.